Hi, good evening, houseman. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, everyone. Hi, good evening, Jancy. How are you? I'm good. I'm eating right now. You're eating? Okay, so you're your meal. Thank right. you. And, okay, so good evening, Edwin. Good evening, Nelson. Well, I don't know if Hosman is there. Okay, so let me see. We already have, okay, Hosman, yeah. Nelson, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are good you? evening, guys. I'm fine, very well. Okay. Very I'm fine. happy. You're happy? Perfect. Yes. So I think that's something good, okay? So today is Friday. So yes. are you going to work tomorrow? No. No? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, guys, welcome once again. So we are finishing the first week of classes, right? So I hope everything um, is okay with um, homework, right? Remember that you, that you need to complete till homework five. Don't forget about that, okay? So then let's see, Hostman, how was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm great day. Okay, and what do you do? Uh, and today the, in my job, um, different activities, um, very good. Okay, perfect. All right, so you did a lot of activities. Hello, Carlos, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, thank you. And you? Okay. I'm okay, I think that, well, today is Friday, so tomorrow is Saturday. Um, then it's already the weekend, so I feel good. All right, so guys, we are going to start and well, today we have different things that we are going to cover. Okay, so we have the following. We have the warm up, then we are going to move to the grammar part. And today we are going to make a review about the whole unit one that we have covered uh, during this week. Okay, so we also have a speaking time and we have quizzes. Okay, we have one listening quiz and, we, uh, and one grammar quiz. Uh, we also have games and the end of the class, all right? So let's see. As a warm up, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, all right? So let me ask Edwin, okay? Edwin, do you prefer to spend your free time with other people or alone? So I prefer to spend my time with my family okay. and friends. Excellent, very good. Thank you. What about you, uh, Jancy? Well, no, Jancy now because uh, she is eating. Eulie, no, I'm good. You, you're ready, okay. So, okay, yep. do you prefer to spend your free time with other people or alone? Um, I prefer to spend my free time with uh, other people. Other people. And the reason, yeah, and the reason why is because uh, when I say other people, pretty much it's just my family. Okay. <laughs> with my, you know, with my sister, uh, some friends, um, some sister friends. And what we do is just, I mean, we cook something, we drink, uh, just soda, you know, things, <laughs> things like that. And I think that it's better to spend our time with our um uh, family or friends not all the time it's, it's nice be alone yeah just that is correct okay yes. thank you Jancy. all right so anna do you have any hobbies mm, i believe that no because i don't have free time but maybe i like listening music listening to music listening okay. to music Perfect. Thank you. Let me see. Salvador, are you there? Do you have any hobbies? Yes, I have. Okay. Which hobbies do you have? I, I like to read okay. and ride a bike with my phone. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Salvador. And what do you usually do in your free time, Fatima?
Is Fatima Noemi there? Well, I think that no. All right, Nelson, what do you usually do in your free time? Okay, I usually play video games on my cell phone or on my TV. I like to play with my dog. I like to exercise and a little bit uh, study. <laughs> okay, and, do you study English? And sometimes, but uh, I study uh, courses about my degree. Okay, perfect. All right, awesome. Then let's see. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Eulisse, what do you usually do in your free time? I usually do um, if we try. Uh, I like uh, to go with my family a different place. Mm -hmm. um, also, I study uh, English in in watching videos. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I like to go. I like to go to the park. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Perfect. Thank you, Eulise. Susana, good to see you. How are you? I'm okay, thanks. All right, perfect. So, Susana, do you have any hobbies? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I like uh, paint. I like Draw. painting. Drawing. Think Drawing, I like um, the art. Okay. Yes, this is my hobby. Perfect, all right. So excellent. All right, guys, then let's move. We are going to start with unit one review. So let me ask you, what have we studied during this week? Tell me the topics that we have seen. Tell me what you remember that we have studied. Mm -hmm. Which topics have we covered? Conjunction, con conjunction, pronouns. Okay. Yes, very good. Condun conjunctions, yes. What else? Order the. Okay. Comparative adjectives. Comparative adjectives. What else? Visit a restaurant. Okay, yes, vocabulary about no. restaurant. No. Yes. Uh -huh. What else? The 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 Excellent. Very good. Very good. Yes, guys. So right now we are going to start by talking about comparative adjectives. And let's see if you remember. Okay. So it says write the comparative forms of the adjectives. So, which is the comparative of good? Better. 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 Which is the comparative of bad? Worse. Worse. Excellent. What is the comparative of big? Bigger. Bigger. Is that with double G or with one G? Double G. Double G. G. Double G. Excellent. Number four, which is the comparative for expensive? More expensive. expensive. And elegant? More elegant. More what about bright? Uh, bright. Brighter. 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 Very good. Brighter. And healthy? Healthier. Healthier, right? So happy? Happier. 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 And what happens with the letter Y? For, for Replace mm -hmm. with for E and R. Oh, I E R. I yes, very yes, good. Yes. So, what about generous? More generous. More generous. Excellent. Funny. 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 Exciting. More, More exciting. 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 And boring. Mm. More boring. More boring. More, more boring. Excellent. Okay, so let me see. Susana, give me a sentence using the comparative expensive. 
Mm, the Pizza Hut is more expensive than Telepizza. Okay, excellent. Very good. Well done. Yes. Okay, let me see. Um, Postman, give me one example with the comparative of uh, good. Good. Yes. Mm, the hamburger. The. Mm -hmm. The hamburger, the hamburger, the the McDonald's is good. Um, <laughs> Don't worry. So let's see, Hostman, which is the comparative for good? The comparative adjective. Is it gooder or is it better? Better. Better. Very good. So now, okay, McDonald's is better than. Dan Burger King. Mm. Um. Mm -hmm. Dan which restaurant? For example, uh, Yancy said a uh, Burger King. Okay, so McDonald's is better than Burger King. Yeah. Okay. So now, if we compare, if we compare um, two shopping centers, okay? So for example, mm, let's say what? Metro Centro is better than Plaza Mundo, okay? okay. So we are comparing two things, Postman, yeah. okay? Comparative, okay. yeah? Okay. okay, very good. Let's see, um, Edwin, give me one sentence using the comparative Elegant. She's more elegant than he. Yes, okay. Very good. Now, let's see. Um, Anna, give us one example using the comparative healthy. Um, the salad is healthier that pizza okay dan 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 siempre se me olvida yes okay just the pronunciation dan right dan excellent very good okay let's choose the correct answer number 1 my brother is taller taller than me taller than me okay so is this one right very good number 2 this way is Shorter. shorter than the others. Shorter than the shorter. others. Very good. Number three. My grandfather is older than everybody in our family. Excellent. Very good. All there. Okay. Number four. This book is more expensive than the others. Perfect. More expensive, right? So you see, it's long adjective. It's long, right? So number five, our garden is, is bigger than, than other, other gardens. gardens. Okay. One G or double G? Double G. Double G. Double G. Perfect. What about number six? Susie, Susie. is uh, more hardworking, more hardworking than me. Okay, so Susie is the more hardworking or Susie is more hardworking? More hardworking. More hardworking. More hardworking than me. Excellent. Number seven, this car is? Cheaper, cheaper. than all the cars in the gallery. Excellent, cheaper. Number eight. Reading, Reading book is, is better, better than, than watching, than watching TV. TV. Excellent. Reading book is better. Okay, better. Okay, excellent. Number nine. Summers. Summer is harder than, than the spring. Okay, harder with one T or double T? Double T. Okay, very good. What about number 10? Women, Women are more women fragile. Are more fragile. Than, than men. Than men. Excellent. Very good. Okay. 
Well okay. done. Do you have any doubts right now? Any question? No? Okay. Remember just to mention this once again, whenever we are using comparative, we need to use done. Okay, done. Yeah. For short adjectives, we are going to add ER for the short. Para, por, para los pequeños, ER. Yeah. And for the long ones, we are going to add more. That is the general rule. Of course, we can have um, exceptions, right? So, but the general rule says that you are going to add more when the adjective is long, okay? And we also have irregular adjectives, which are examples of irregular adjectives, good and bad. We cannot say gooder, we cannot say better. Good is better, bad, worse, okay? Don't forget about that rule. Perfect, let's move. So now let's talk about vocabulary, okay? So as you can see, we have different adjectives. This is very important, okay, vocabulary. So we have the first one, which is reliable, reliable. Okay, what is reliable? We are going to learn that in a minute. Then we also have helpful, yeah, helpful. Then we also have affordable, affordable, practical, pricey, functional, stylish, and elegant, yeah? Those are additives for you to describe different products, yeah? So let's see, what is reliable according to all of these definitions? What do you think? What is reliable? Any idea? Read the definitions from A to H and tell me which is the correct answer. Which is the correct definition for reliable? Knowing that the person or object will do what you expect them to do. Uh, not exactly. Available to make situation better. Okay. Uh, okay. Letter G. This one? Letter D. D? Oh. Okay. Reliable, so being able to make a situation better. Mm, okay, let's see. Number two, helpful. What is helpful? Words in a real situation, not just in a possible situation. Mm, okay, let's see. Let's move that one. What about affordable? Yeah, what is affordable? Not being too expensive. Excellent, okay. So affordable, guys, in Spanish is going to be something Eh, que es económico, yeah? Affordable, not being too expensive. So that means that is económico, okay? Now, what about practical? What letter B. Letter B, okay. Let's move. And what is letter B? Having the basic things needed to work, but not anything more. Okay, practical. All right. What about pricey? Um, letter, letter, letter E, e costing a lot of money. Okay, pricey, costing a lot of money. All right, yes. Uh, what about number six? Letter G. Yeah, I'm going to remove, okay, the ones that um, are not correct, okay? So number one is not correct, so you don't get uh, confused. Um, number two is not correct. Number three, yes. And number four, it is going to be um, incorrect. Okay. Letter uh, number five, yes, it is correct. Okay. So now, what is functional? Letter E. Letter E. So functional, 
Hey, sorry. Okay. So works in a real situation, not just in a possible situation. Not exactly. Functional is having the basic things needed to work, oh. but not anything more. Functional. Okay. It works, right? It is functional. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What about a stylish? Letter F. Letter F. Yes. Looking good and in fashion. Okay. Where is the, the mouse? Let me see. Okay. What about number eight? Letter H. Okay. Letter H. And what is letter, letter H? Being attractive with a beautiful design. Excellent. Very good. So we have those. Okay. Let's move to the ones that we don't have. Okay. Let's see. Reliable. I think that you said that one at the beginning. Knowing that the person I or say, object I said no will be that respectful. Yes. Okay. Helpful. What is helpful? Works in being, a able, being able to make a situation better. Correct. What about practical? Letter A. 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 Correct. So, like this. Okay. So now, who can explain to us, all right, or who knows the meaning of reliable? What is reliable? It is the confianza, right? Mm -hmm. It is reliable. Okay, que se confía en ese producto. Remember that we are talking about products right now, okay? So you trust on that product, right? Reliable, yeah? Helpful, you know what helpful is, right? What is helpful? So remember, reliable de confianza, yeah? Teacher, uh, sorry, uh, again, reliable. 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 Yes, reliable, yeah. What about helpful? Hmm? Yes, this one is like something that is useful. Since we are talking about products, okay, but it is also servicial. Yeah, that is correct. When we you are describing a person, it is servicial. But if we are talking about products, helpful means useful. Okay, algo que es útil cuando hablamos de objetos. Yeah. Now, what about affordable? What did I say? Affordable? Economic. It, yes, very good. Okay. Practical, the same thing, practical, right? Something that is practical. Yeah. Pricing. What is pricing? Uh, yes, uh, costos. Okay. Yeah. yeah, pricey is like saying caro. Caro. Fancy. Yeah, que, que cuesta mucho caro, que costoso. Okay. Uh, functional, you know what functional is. Okay. A stylish. What is a stylish? Hmm? A stylish? A la moda. Ajá. Uh -huh. A la moda. Stylish and elegant are synonyms. Yeah. Stylish is like a la moda. Algo que está super a la moda. Okay. Algo que está en trend. Um, and elegant is just elegante. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any question right now? You are going to use those in a minute. Okay. So remember that functional is funcional, operativo, algo que. Okay, bien funcional. Okay? So, reliable, reliable, helpful, affordable, practical, pricey, functional, stylish, and elegant. All right? So, let's move. And we are going to have an activity. Okay? So, what you are going to do, you are going to work in teams. We have team one, team two, team three. Team four and team five. Yeah. You are going to use those adjectives, but you can also use the ones that you already know, right? And you need to use them in the comparative way. Those are really um, easy. Why? Because all of them 
are long adjectives. Therefore, you are going to add more. More reliable, more helpful, more affordable, more practical, more pricey, and like that, all right? All of them are long adjectives. So now, you are going to compare, if you are team one, you are going to compare Android versus Apple. And you are going to tell me, for example, Android is more reliable than Apple because, and you are going to give me a reason, okay? Not just the sentence, I need to know why. You are going to create at least three sentences. Three sentences, but you are going to add why, okay? A short explanation. Then um, I will give you your team, let me see. I'm going to create the rooms right now. And okay, so Hosman, Nelson, and Susanna, you are team. Uh, let me see. Um, give me one second. No, I'm going to recreate them. Okay, so team one Glenda, Karen, Rafael, and Salvador. Team two Carlos Dominguez. Edwin Antonio, Fatima Noemi, and Jensi. Team three, Ana Lorena, Carlos Eduardo, Rosa del Carmen, and Wilber. Team four, Eulice, Hosman, Nelson. Team five, Blanca, Carlos Arias, and Susana Milena. Yeah? So you are going to pick team one, team two, team three, team four, and team five. Okay? So we are going to start with this and try to use some of those. But if you want to include different adjectives, go ahead and do it, okay? Hello, Good Carl. Evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. How do you do? I'm okay. I'm okay. Tell me. Were you uh, able to to join the, the team or no? Uh, yes. Yes? Okay. Uh, let me see. Good evening. Hi, Karen. How are Karen, you? How are you? I can. Okay. Karen, are you able to join the team? Yes, yeah, team one. Team one. Okay, let me see. I think that probably you. You refuse that. Um. Oh, four. Teacher, yes. please uh, share the link of the class. Okay, give me one second. Jen. Thank you. Okay. Um, oh, I think that they are going to ask me about the, the um, one participant, all participants. Okay, done. Um, the link... I mean, um, there you go. That is the link uh, for the spreadsheet. But if you want the one just for the PDF, there you go as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. 
looking for the agency. Okay, I share my screen. Yes, please. Hello, I had a question. Just to confirm, the number two, it was computers versus tablets, right? Let me see, number two, Gen C, Gen C, Gen C, Gen C. Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, yep, thank you. <clears throat> so, I said I was... Yes, um, like cartera or bolsa como ese is uh, bag, is a bag or purse, right? Purse. And the other one is the backpack. Uh -huh. uh, backpack. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. Team three. Team the Casio watch is more affordable than Casio because uh, in the central, I, uh, sometimes I find the Casio around twenty dollars, but I be I have not find the the Rolex. With that mm. community, the community, or oh, the people, see why? No, no, it was bien. Oh, the people is, va, pero cómo se dice? The, es que si dices gente, o hablemos como cliente. No. Mm, no sé, I don't know. Así como escribirle comunidad Android de Android. Community. Mm. Android is bigger than the community of Apple. Oh, okay. Uh, so the Android is more re reliable than Apple because the community is bigger. Is, is what? More big. More big para no hacer una bola. Is bigger. Is bigger. bigger. Mm. Is bigger. 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 Okay. It's bigger. So the second adjective. <clears throat> adjective was uh, helpful. <clears throat> helpful. For me. <laughs> Android, and, right? Android. <laughs> no, but yes. Yes, because you need pay for anything in Apple. That's not helpful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's scared. Uh, scared. 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 Okay. Yes. Scared. Because. Because. Because, uh, because the, the, the dress is more <laughs> elegant. Mm, uh, it's, it's true. Elegant. Because you dress. know, it's, it's really it, it's really funny because I thought that you are team team <laughs> four, right? So I, I was like like I was like I'm going to be careful when I select the rooms because mm. team four it should be girls, right? <laughs> but I yeah. have three men right yeah. here. You are terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But okay, yes. <laughs> because the dress is more comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <correct>. <laughs> <laughs> but because the dress is mm -hmm. uh, uh, more, more elegant. elegant, yeah, that is correct. Elegant more and well, and what else? Mm -hmm. What else? And mm. what else? Mm. more beautiful. Okay. Mm. That, yes. That, yes. Um, yeah. That, Beautiful. And 
more useful. More practical. Because, mm -hmm. eh, it's true, more practical. Yeah. Why? <laughs> practical because you can the woman prefer because you can you can dress it um, no no you can, you can wear, wear it uh -huh. wear it you can wear it uh, fast okay or a, um you can put it on put on okay yes. you can put it on como ponérselo put it uh -huh. on uh, faster faster yeah and we uh, also and... Uh, mm -hmm. okay because also the, the prefer dress because it's more elegant for them for yes for them mm -hmm. okay yes <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> You can wear you can wear a dress for different occasions, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The woman prefer prefer it. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Another 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 adjective. I use some doja, pricey and practical. Okay. And practical. Yeah. Elegant. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Yes. Oh, it's, it's stylish. Yeah, it's stylish. That is correct. Stylish. Stylish. Okay, dress mm -hmm. is more functional. Stylish. What else we can add? Tools. Um, what else? The computer has better tools. Okay. <laughs> So because the tablet only has a uh, application. <laughs> Computer has more tools than tablets. Uh, no, no, yes. Don't have applications. Right. Uh, applications. Okay. We have a uh, um, we have a, a information right now. So we're gonna say computers are more pricey than tablets, and the reason why is because computers have a better system than tablets. Also, computer has more tools than and tablet. Also, computer has more tools and tablet just have and, and tablet just have some applications. Is that okay? Yes. But um, I just have one observation probably where you said but a computer has. Okay. Or computers have. In plural, you decide. I said that when just when I said the reason why is because computer have computers have. Oh yes, yeah, I have the letter S. Computers Excellent. have a better system than tablets. Perfect. And also, mm -hmm. computers have mm -hmm. more tools. Perfect. And tablets just have some applications excellent yes <clears throat> thank you okay okay so i think that we are ready You're done okay perfect i think that all of you let's go to the main room okay perfect okay all right yeah. okay so let me see who is team one let me see 
Okay. All right, so Glenda, Karen, Rafael, and Salvador. Okay, guys. So we are going to start probably, uh, let me see if we have all of you. No, no jet. Okay, no jet. Um, okay, but we have team two already. So I think that team two, you are going to start, okay? So Carlos, Edwin, Fatima, and Jens. Okay, team two is about computers and tablets. Okay, go. Okay, um, hello everyone. As uh, she said, uh, number two is between computers versus tablets. So we uh, agree that computers are more pricey than tablets. The reason why is because computers have a better system than tablets. Also, computers have more tools and tablets just have some applications. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, that was perfect. Okay, so team one, Glenda, Karen, Rafael, and Salvador. Okay, tell me Glenda, please. Okay. Are you going to share the screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let me stop sharing mine. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Well, I talk about Android versus Apple. Okay. Uh, Android is more reliable than Apple because the community is bigger. Okay. And Android is more helpful than Apple because it's free. And the App Store has vari vari I'm sorry, variety. Variety. Vari variety. Yeah. OK. And Apple is pricier than Android because the Apple company always want to be luxury. Because the Apple, because, uh, okay, luxury. Okay, just remove the da, the T-H-E, because Apple company, okay? Or, mm, yeah, you may leave it right, like that, okay? Okay, so the spelling of reliable. Reliable, it is R-E-L-I-A-V, L E. Hmm? Yeah. And Apple is pricier. Well, in that case, it will be more pricey. Okay. More pricey. More price. Price. More okay. pricey. Yes. Okay. Very good. Oh, you. More pricey. Thank you. Okay. All right. Teacher, so let's teacher. see. Um, yeah. One, one question. Yes. ¿Por qué es more en IEM en pricing? Oh, yeah. You know, some of the uh, adjectives, right? So we have exceptions. Uh, there is a rule where we can use more whenever we have adjectives when they end in the letter Y, but this is not like general, okay? The general rule is that you need to use the I-E-R, so you need to remove it. But this is like, I would say an exception. It is more pricey. That's why you may see pricier, but it depends, okay? It's not like a rule, it's not a rule. So sometimes we need to, um, I would say not follow that rule, but they, there are very specific occasions and you need to learn those by heart. Eso se aprende de memoria. Okay, in this case, Thank it you. is more pricey. Mm -hmm. Then happy, yes, happier, no more happy, okay? Because the rule says that happy is happier, pretty, prettier, okay? So you need to learn that by heart. Don't, yeah, and uh -huh. that's a really good question, okay? Because if not, okay. you're going to get confused, but very good question, yeah. Okay. And then we, we use, uh, we use uh, more price here. Muy pricing eh, en cualquier oración. Yeah, more pricing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. That is correct. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Then, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, before continuing, so I'm going to take the attendance. Um, let me see. Give me one second.
Okay, so here we go. Say present when you hear your name. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Andrea. Okay. Blanca Jennifer. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto Domínguez. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present. Thank you. César Homero Amaya. César. Ok. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Eulice Torres. Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemí Umaña. Fátima. Okay. Glenda Josefina Toledo. Present. Yeah, thank you, Glenda. Eh, José Salvador Bernal. Here I am. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Juan Francisco. Karen Lisset Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Catherine Indira Velázquez. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Your teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Ernesto. Yeah, Raúl didn't connect today. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena Cruz Reyes. Present. Thank you. Walter David Díaz. No, I don't have Walter. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Yeah. And Jensi Azucena Sánchez. Okay. Yeah, present. Thank you. Okay, so team three. Team number three. Okay, team number three. It was Ana Lorena, Carlos Eduardo, Rosa del Carmen, and Wilber. Are you going to share the screen? Sí. Yes, okay. Go. Okay, let me see. Okay. okay. Yes, Susana. Uh, I have a problems with my Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, estoy conectada con los datos, entonces no sé hasta cuánto me va a durarse. No sé por qué se arruinó el internet ahorita. Okay. Okay. Do not turn on your camera then. Okay. No sé, no active la cámara para que no le consuma más datos. Okay, okay. thank you. All right. Perfect. Uh, yes. Team three. Okay. Yeah. The Casio watch is more affordable than Rolex watch mm -hmm. because they can find a Casio for twenty dollars in any warehouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Rolex watch is more stylish than Casio watch because this brand is used for more famous people. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last one, both watches have the same function mm -hmm. and make it helpful, make them helpful. Make them helpful, okay. All right, so uh, function, okay, fun, fun. With letter C, fun, and C, function. Uh, delete, okay. Yeah, like that. And what it says, this brand is used. Uh, you are missing the letter D. Used. Is used. In use. Ah, yeah. Letter D. D. Okay, very good. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Perfect. Okay, team four. Eulise, Hosman, and Nelson. Okay. I am part of the team four. Okay. Mm, my case, the dress versus uh, skirt. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, dress is more uh, pricey than skirt because the dress is more elegant, more beautiful, more practical, because you can put it on uh, complete faster. Okay. Uh, also, the woman prefer, prefer it because the dress is, is more comfortable okay. than skirt, they okay. told me. <laughs> dress <laughs> is more stylish than skirt because the woman uh, looks better. Okay. more attractive with the long hair <laughs> okay. scary okay. is more affordable than dress because yeah. scary is less elegant more conventional mm -hmm. the woman can put it more faster but need another clothes okay. Okay. just that all right very good okay just remember faster okay more faster no faster okay Faster. Yes, sorry. Yes, okay. But very good. I think that you had uh, good points right there, okay? Yeah, you need <laughs> Me lo dijeron, a... ella vea, yo no sé. <laughs> okay, yes, but it is correct, okay? Okay, so the last team, team five, Blanca. Well, just Blanca, I, I see here. And Carlos, okay, yeah. Okay. The bag is more elegant than backpack because you can go to the party. Okay. The backpack is more afford affordable than backpack because it's spacious. Okay. The backpack is more pricey than backpack because the materials. Because of, okay. Excellent. Thank you, Blanca. Okay, guys. Pronunciation. Okay. Remember it reliable, helpful, affordable, affordable, okay? Practical, pricey, functional, stylish, and elegant, okay? Uh, the first, uh, again, please. Oh, yes, reliable, reliable. Rel reliable. Excellent, reliable. Very good. Okay. Now let's move to the other topic that we covered during this week. That was coordinating conjunctions. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Okay. What are coordinating conjunctions? I need five volunteers. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six volunteers to read all of this. I need six. Let's see. Okay, Ana Lorena, you are number one. Nelson, number two. Eh, Carlos Eduardo, number three, four. Eh, Carlos Aria, number four. Jet, let me see. Karen, number five. So, and let me see. Who else wants to participate? Well, Glenda. Glenda. Four, okay? Okay, Anna, go. N. N, to add or connect two things together. Mm -hmm. For example, Bold and Jill live on the same street mm -hmm. to suggest that one idea happens after another idea. I called his name and he came to suggest that one idea is the result of another. I heard the weather forecast, forecast and decided not to go out. Thank you. Okay, so before continuing uh, with the number two, which is the meaning of the weather forecast? Which is the meaning? Any idea? If I say okay. right now, uh -huh, the weather forecast uh, says that tomorrow is going to be sunny and bright. What is it? El clima. Yes. Noticias. Yes, the weather forecast is prono forecast means pronóstico. Okay? Weather, clima. So, el pronóstico del clima. Okay? Yeah? Then, Siempre se equivoca. <laughs> yeah, here in, in our country, yes, that is correct, okay? 
So, and is a coordinating conjunction, okay? That help us to connect, yeah? To actually to suggest ideas, okay? And to talk about results. Excellent. But, number two. Okay, the conjunction, but is to suggest a contrast that is unexpected. Mm -hmm. For example, he has no money, but he is happy. Excellent. Now, repeat after me and say, suggest. Suggest. Like that, suggest. Okay, perfect. So it, it is the one that we use to show contrast. Okay, he has no money, but he is happy. I have no money, but I am happy. Okay. Or number three. Okay, uh, the conjunction or mm -hmm. to suggest alternatives, and we can start the lesson at three p.m. or we can begin at four p.m. Okay. Thank you. Now repeat after me and say begin. Begin. Oh no, begin. Begin. And begin. Excellent. Like that. Okay. So, or to suggest alternatives. We think we can start the lesson at 3 p.m. or we can begin at 4 p.m. Excellent. Jet, number four. Conjunction jet is to make a contrast. Joseph plays rugby will. Yet his favorite sport is soccer. Very good. Thank you. So jet is also to make contrast, right? And um, if you remember, jet is almost the same as but, right? Jet is almost the same as but, yeah, as but. Contrast and contrast, both but and jet. Okay, so. Get a result, it was uh, raining, so we say to stay in, men as well, or in addition, joy is hungry, and so I am. Okay, thank you. Now, remember this one is decided, okay? So, to suggest a result, it was raining, so we decided to stay in. To mean as well or in addition. Joy is hungry and so I am. Y yo también. Okay? So now, four, the last one. <clears throat> the mean because is very formal or like literary context. I don't know what he looks like like what I have never met him. Okay. To me, because it's very formal, okay? As I said before, this one is very formal, okay? Yeah. Or literary contexts. Yeah, it is really formal, okay? I don't know what he looks like for I have never met him, okay? Porque no lo he conocido, okay? Now, number one, let's complete the sentences with and, but, or, jet, so, or for. Let's complete those sentences, okay? You are going to decide. Number one, the dog hasn't eaten all day. What do you think we can add right here from those conjunctions? So. So. Perfect, and that is correct. So, mm -hmm. the mouse is very hungry. Excellent, very good. So, number two, we can go out for a pizza. Or. Excellent, or, okay, very good. Or we can eat in, it's up to you. Okay, very good. What about number three? George is coming to town. I don't know if he will visit us. What can we add? But. Excellent, but, okay. 
Okay, very good. But, okay, number four. It's not very polite to eat. And. Excellent. And, and talk at the same time. That's correct. Number five. It's cold outside. Oh. So I suggest oh. you put on your coat. Yeah, so excellent. Entonces, right? So it's cold outside. Hace frío afuera. Por lo tanto, entonces, yo sugiero que te pongas tu chaqueta, right? So, Teacher, yeah. so means uh, to... Uh, así que? Yes, así que. Por lo tanto, entonces, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about number six? I got out of bed. But... Yeah. Okay, I got out of bed. Me levanté de la cama. Jet. Jet. But jet is. What is the meaning of jet? Look at this. Contrast. It's to, to make a contrast. contrast. So contrast. jet and but is contrast. to make a contrast. But they mean pero. So me and, levanté de la cama. Maybe and. and. And had a shower. Yes. Oh, and. and, okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Very good, and, very good, excellent. Okay, number seven. It was raining outside. And. But. Okay, but, but it was also quite warm. So we decided to take the shower. Excellent, very good, so. You see? So, excellent. Number eight. I turned on the television. There was nothing to record. Jet. Okay. Jet. There was nothing. Interesting there was nothing to, watch. Interesting to watch. Okay. Yes. Remember that jet is the same as bat. Oh, yes. So we can use bat or jet. Both are correct. Bat or jet. Okay? okay. And the last one, number nine. We decided to go home. Four. Four. Excellent. Four. Because it was getting late, right? It was. Yes. Very good. You see? It's kind of easy, but we need to read the whole context. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to know the context, right? To decide which conjunction we need to use. Yeah, very good. Okay, guys. So now we are going to take a short quiz um, about conjunctions, okay? We are going to take that quiz. Let me get it for you. Um, if you have the spreadsheet, go to the spreadsheet. If not, go to the chat here in Zoom. There is a link and that is a short quiz about conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions. And the passcode is grammar, okay? It is a short quiz, it's not difficult, but pay attention to the sentences, okay? Login. And start the quiz. Log in and start the quiz.
Okay, I got Karen, I got Jose, okay. I got Glenda, Jennifer, Rafael, Rosa, Susana, okay. Wilbur, okay. You know, I think that almost all of you fail, well, not all of you, but some of you fail on number five, right? Let me see, Anna, okay, Nelson, okay. Yeah, some of you fail on, on number five, some of you on number one, some of you on number four. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos Eduardo, Jancy, okay. Okay. All right. So do you have any doubt? Do you have any doubt right now? No? Okay. So remember that this is just a review, okay? So it is a review. And if um, we have this type of probably, um, you know that you need to improve probably using nor, right? Or but. So try to um, make sentences, right? You are alone, yeah, at home. Try to improve that area. And next week, we are going to have another exam just to see if you have studied it, okay? Now, let's move. Let's move and we are done with that. Now let's move to the restaurant industry. So we are going to start by talking about the following, okay? How often do you visit restaurants? Okay, let me ask Rafael. Rafael, how often do you visit restaurants? Maybe three times three times per week. Three times per week, okay. And what about you, Glenda? How often do you visit restaurants? Always I uh, visit restaurants on Saturday uh, or Sunday. Okay. All right. I always visit restaurants on Sundays. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Susana, when did you last go to a restaurant? The last, mm -hmm. the last week. Excellent. Okay. Did you like it? Mm, yes, I like it. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let me see. Um, Hostman, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is Chinese food. Chinese food? Okay, perfect. Do you like sushi, Hostman? Yes. Food? Okay, perfect. Do you like sushi, Hostman? Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now let's move to okay, vocabulary, guys. okay? Vocabulary. So which is the difference between a bill and a check? What is the difference between a cook and a chef? What is the difference between a service charge and a tip? What is the difference between a starter and an appetizer? What is the difference between a main course and a side dish? What is the difference between eat in and eat out? Okay, can you please tell me if you know some of those? What do you know? The first one? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Don't worry. A bill is like the total of the account. Okay. And check is the way to pay something. Okay, very good. Yes, it is valid. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody else? No? Okay, so um, let's make sure that um, we understand that we are talking about restaurants okay so what glenda said is totally correct okay so a check is the way 
how you pay something, okay? And a bill, yes, is the total of the account. But now, when it comes to restaurants, okay? So I don't know if you have heard that uh, some people say, can I have the bill? And some people say, can I have the check? But what is the difference, okay? So we have the differences right here. A bill is British English. So whenever someone says, can I have the bill, please, is British English. But that one is the general way in which you can ask for the bill in a restaurant. That is the general way in the United States and in England, right? So a check is American English. So teacher, can I say, can I have the check? Yes, but the general, the general um, question, right, is can I have the bill, please? That is the general, yeah? So now, what is the difference between a cook and a chef, okay? So a cook is someone who prepares and cooks food. And the chef is a skilled and trained. And usually the most important cook in a hotel or restaurant. That is a chef. That is a difference, okay? So now, which is the difference between a service charge and a tip? Right here. The service charge is an obligatory fixed payment added to the price of the meal to pay for the cost of serving the customer. So this one, you pay because it is mandatory. Okay, so in a tip is a small extra amount of money which a customer leaves for the waiter or waitress after paying for the meal, right? That is if you want to leave money. Now, what is the difference between a starter and appetizer? A starter is British, right? Is British English, okay? In both, a starter and appetizer are American. So teacher, a starter and appetizer are the same, yes. The only difference is that a starter is British English and appetizer and a starter both are considered American English, yeah? In those things, you need to know those things because sometimes you are going to see appetizer and sometimes you are going to see a starter, right? So now you know appetizer and a starter, the same thing. The only thing is that a starter is British, right? Then number five, a main course, okay? What is the difference between a main course and a side dish? The main course is the largest or most important part of a meal? The main course, right? The main course, yeah? Okay, Ulisse. Okay, got it. Okay, take care. A main okay. course is the largest or most important part of a meal. Then a side dish is a small extra order of food served on a separate plate. So the side dish is la porción, okay? A side dish, una porción, okay? It's a small extra order, okay? And the last one, which is the difference between eat in and eat out. Well, eat in means to have a meal at home rather than in a restaurant. So you eat in. If I ask you, do you like to eat in? or to eat out, right? Oh, teacher, I like to eat in because I love homemade food, yeah? No, teacher, I love to eat out because I love um, wings, so I need to go to buffalo wings, right? So then we also have eat out, that means to have a meal in a restaurant, okay? Now, let me ask you something. What are the three meals that we have during the day? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Excellent, okay. 
Very good. If we want to say, guys, if we want to say, en el almuerzo como arroz, how do you say that? At lunch, I eat rice. Excellent, okay. At lunch, okay. The preposition at. Excellent, very good. All right, guys. Do you have any doubt about this? Any question about this? It's correct when you say at lunch or when you ate, it's correct say I have uh, a dinner. Oh, okay. So, so in, yes, Susan, I got the question. No, in this case, um, you can say at lunch, all right? Para decir en el almuerzo, at lunch. Si usted quiere decir, eh, tengo un almuerzo, mm, in this mm. case, yeah. Pero es correcto decir, como, yo comí tal cosa en el almuerzo o en la cena, oh. es correcto decir, I have. I had. Okay. Yeah. For example, I had uh, rice at lunch. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Any other doubt, Salvador? A starter and appetizer. ¿Qué significa? A starter and appetizer son como las entradas, los aperitivos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other doubt? No? Okay. Very good. So now let's move and let's talk about vocabulary. Okay. So what is number one? We have the pink words right here. So we need to choose which goes in all of those spaces. Okay. So let's see. Number one. What is number one? Silverware. Excellent, okay. Silverware. So, teacher, cubiertos, ambos, cubiertos. La palabra cubiertos es silverware? Yes, silverware, yeah? Now, how do you say cuchara and how do you say tenedor? Spoon. Spoon, Spoon and cuchara. Excellent. Tenedor. Fork. 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 Perfect. En, en cubiertos en general. Silverware. Silverware. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, oh, the, yeah. the word is silverware uh, unless it's made, for example, of plastic. Oh, those are disposable. Where? Where? Yes. Okay. It's possible, yeah. All right, so now, what about number two? Servilleta. Napkin. Napkin, napkin. okay. So this is the general um, word, napkin, okay. And then we also have this one, serviette. But that one is French. But you can hear that that uh, that word, yeah. But the, the main one is napkin, the general one, okay. So now, what about number three? What is number three? Soft drink. Soft drink. Soft drink. A soft drink, right? Yes, yeah, soft drink. What about number four? What Local do you think? Special. special. Snap. Okay. Snap. Yeah, Snap. it is like, uh, yes, very good. Local speciality. Okay. Speciality, yes. Excellent. What about number five? Suitable for vegans. Suitable for vegans. Yes, suitable for vegans. Suitable for vegans. Excellent. Oh, for vegans. Yes. What about number six? Allergy information. information. Yes, information. Perfect. All right. So this one. Yeah. Very good. Allergy information. What is the meaning of wheat? What is wheat? Who knows? Trigo. Excellent. Trigo. Okay. So we have silverware, 
napkin, soft drink, local speciality, suitable for vegans, and allergy information. Okay, very good. Let's move. Now we are going to have a listening, yeah? So you are going to listen to the dialogue for the first time, and you are going to write down what Simon orders for lunch. I need you to write down. He is going to mention the starter, the main course, the drink, and the dessert. Yeah? So here we go. I'm going to play the, this audio uh, once because it's not difficult. You will see, okay? Um, here we go. Let me know if you're able to hear, okay? Are you ready to order? Yes, can you hear it? Yes. All right, perfect. Yes. Thank you. Okay, give me one second, I'm going to... Okay, here we go. Are you ready to order? Yes, but I'd just like to check something. I have a nut allergy. The tomato soup doesn't contain nuts, does it? No, it doesn't contain nuts. It's suitable for vegans, too. Okay, great. In that case, could I get the tomato soup, please? And for your main course? Hmm, what would you recommend? The grilled salmon is excellent, sir. What does it come with? It's served with boiled potatoes and vegetables. Okay, that sounds fine. And I'd like a side salad with that. Anything to drink? Hmm, what do you think would go well with the salmon? I'd recommend white wine. Okay, I'll have a glass of white wine. Actually, no, just make that a Coke. And for your dessert? Do you have fruit salad? No, I'm afraid we're out of fruit salad. We have apple pie, ice cream, and cheesecake. Can I suggest the cheesecake? It's delicious. Hmm, I don't think I have room for that. Can I have vanilla ice cream, please? Of course. Would you like a coffee, sir? No, just the check, please. Certainly. Here you are. Keep the change. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Did you get all of the answers? Yes. No. yes. Some of you, yes. Some of you, no. I'm going to replay it, okay? So let me play it once again. Okay? Are you ready to order? Yes, but I'd just like to check something. I have a nut allergy. The tomato soup doesn't contain nuts, does it? No, it doesn't contain nuts. It's suitable for vegans, too. Okay, great. In that case, could I get the tomato soup, please? And for your main course? Hmm, what would you recommend? The grilled salmon is excellent, sir. What does it come with? It's served with boiled potatoes and vegetables. Okay, that sounds fine. And I'd like a side salad with that. Anything to drink? Hmm, what do you think would go well with the salmon? I'd recommend white wine. Okay, I'll have a glass of white wine. Actually, no, just make that a Coke. And for your dessert? Do you have fruit salad? No, I'm afraid we're out of fruit salad. We have apple pie, ice cream, and cheesecake. Can I suggest the cheesecake? It's delicious. Hmm, I don't think I have room for that. Can I have vanilla ice cream, please? Of course. Would you like a coffee, sir? No, just the check, please. Certainly. Here you are. Keep the change. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Let's see. Okay, guys. What did Salmon order for a stutter? Tomato uh, soup. Tomato soup. Tomato soup. Tomato soup. Main course? Salmon bowl and vegetables with a side salmon. In a side salad. Excellent. What about the drink? Coke. White wine. White wine. White wine. Okay. White wine or a Coke? A Coke. White Coke. White. Coke. Coke. Okay. Cola. Yes. Coke. Okay. So he ordered Coke. Coke. I mean, at the beginning, at the beginning, it says, okay, that he wanted to order white wine, but then he said, no, actually, use a Coke. Okay, yes. And for dessert? Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Perfect, okay. So, excellent. 
Very good. Okay. There is um there was an expression that he that the, the um the girl said certainly. What is the meaning of certainly? Give me synonyms. No. Okay. Um, not exactly. Certainly sure. is like saying sure. Okay, it's like saying of course. Certainly is por supuesto, claro. For example, if I say right now to, if I ask Nelson, Nelson, can you please, um, can you please share your screen? Certainly. Certainly. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Synonym, certainly, sure, of course, absolutely. Okay, very good. Now, let's move to the use of might and could, right? Remember, could is to make suggestions and might is often used with one or like, yeah? So we have some examples. Uh, I need one volunteer, Susana. Can you please help us reading the examples, all of these, the sentences? Yeah. He could talk to customers about the new menu item. Mm -hmm. I might like to go to Metro Centro and eat at the new restaurant. They could ask for some water. I might want a large pizza. We could eat pasta. Okay, repeat after me, Susana, and say item. 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 Excellent. Item. Okay. Yeah. So we use could to make suggestions and remember might with want and like. Yeah. Do you have any question right now about this? And if not, I need you to create once again, create one sentence using could and one sentence using might and send it to the chat. Remember, punctuation marks, capital letters, okay, period at the end of the sentence. Create one with could and one with might and send them to the chat here in Zoom. Yeah, and remember as we um as we spoke yesterday, could is podría and might means es posible que. Let me see. I got Wilbur Josué could send the notification. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could fix the things with that. Yes, very good. I might be a few minutes late, yes. Carlos could send me the homework. Okay. Yes. Maria might be. Yes, Wilbur. I could drink Michelas. Okay, Blanca. Just the period at the end. So el punto final le faltó Blanca. The end of the sentence. Susie might want to visit her friend. Excellent. Yes, Salvador. I could cook tomorrow, yes. Very good, excellent. I can see that all of you are using period and capital letters. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Ok, I'm missing some of you, ok. Todavía me faltan algunos. Ana Lorena. I could eat chocolate dessert all day. Mm, period, ok, period. I might like to visit the beach and eat seafood. I might, uh, the spelling M-I-G-H-T, no T-H, ok. Rose, he could go to the park, you might cook the lunch. Yes, cook rose with uh, lowercase, okay? Letra minúscula, cook, okay? Eh, Blanca, I might go to Cerro Verde. We could dance like a, like, prof, like a professional, okay? Danny could, oh, Karen, Danny could go, could go to therapy. And therapy, therapy. I could try to study French. She may like scary movies. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. All right, so I'm going to say the attendance the last time, and then we are going to move to the listening exam, okay? The listening quiz that we have for today. Okay, so here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia. Andrea Sofia. Blanca Jennifer. Present. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Eduardo. Present teacher. Oh, Carlos. Present. Carlos Eduardo. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Cesar Romero Amaya. Cesar. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres. Well, Eulice. Uh, yeah. Fatima Noemi. Fatima, Fatima Noemi, okay, Fatima is not here. Um, Glenda Toledo. Present. Thank you, Jose Salvador. Here I am. Thank you, Josman Atilio. Present. Thank you, Juan Francisco Salmerón. Juan, Karen Lisset. Present teacher. Thank you, Catherine Indira. Marlon Oswaldo, Nelson Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Ernesto, Rosa del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena. Present. Susana. Walter da David. Wilber Alberto. Present. And Jancy Azucena. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, so right now we are going to take the listening quiz. Um, yes, so I'm going to send the link here. If you are on the spreadsheet, then yeah, log in from the, from the spreadsheet, okay? But if not, I'm going to send it right here. So there you go, that is the link for the quiz. The passcode is going to be listening in capital letters, okay? Listen, in capital letters, listen like that. Okay, I'm going to, uh, let me see. Yes, let me know once you are in. So I'm going to play the recording twice. If you need an extra time, I'm going to ask you, okay? But first of all, just two times, okay? Log in and let me know once you are in. Teacher, I don't see the link. You don't see the link in the chat? Here in Zoom? It's not. Yeah? No? I don't know. I don't see. You don't see it? Let me resend it. Yes, it is. Yes, I'm, I'm in. in. Okay. I'm, I'm in. in. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
no estoy seguro si yo tal vez he, he habilité algo para que no se vea el mensaje. Porque yo también, porque no lo veo. Y después eh, se va, ya no está. Sí, teacher, sí que no aparece. En serio, es en el documento de Excel. Sí, en el documento lo puede ver más rápido, pero ok, se lo voy a mandar individual. Mire, Wilber y Ana, ¿y alguien más que no le aparezca? Ya me apareció a ti. Ya, voy a decir. Ya, gracias. Ok, so, ¿is everybody in or no yet? Ready. Ready, okay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Let me move. Yeah, some of it. Okay. Here we go. Um, give me one second. Give me one second. I'm going to remove this. Okay. Hello, can I take your order? Yes, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and green peppers. Would you like anything else? Well, wait, uh, can I make that a half and half pizza? Sure, what would you like on each half? Uh, what toppings do you have? Well, we have Italian sausage, ham, mushrooms, onions, pineapple, black olives, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, clams, and squid. Shrimp, clams, and squid? What kind of pizza is that? Uh, the manager spent some time overseas oh. and thinks his new seafood pizza will be a hit with the customers. But to be honest, the swimmer special, as he <laughs> calls it, is an acquired taste. Uh, I'll pass on that sink or swim special, but I'll have pepperoni and mushrooms on one half and green peppers and Italian sausage on the other. Oh, and can I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right. Would you care for any breadsticks or a beverage with your order? Well, I don't know. Actually, uh, we have a Friday night special going on right now. Oh. And if you order any large pizza and drink, we'll throw in a free order of breadsticks, plus a $3 coupon for use with your next order. Huh. Uh, sure, why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or orange juice. I'll take orange juice. Okay. Your total comes to $15.19, which includes tax. Okay. And could I have your name? Uh, yeah. J. Han. Uh, did you say J. Hand? No, it's Han. Actually, it's a Korean name, but many people have difficulty making it out. Hey, maybe I should change my name to Hand. Ah, uh, names are important. Don't change it. Okay. Oh, and your address and telephone number? It's 1340 South, 16 East, and the phone number is 340-1870. Okay, let me repeat your order. A large half-and-half -half pizza. Okay. One half with pepperoni and mushrooms. Yeah. The other with Italian sausage and green peppers. Yeah. Orange juice and your free order of breadsticks. J. Han. Not hand. Yeah, that's right. At 340 South, 16 East, 340-1817, is that correct? Everything except for the phone number. It's 1870, not 17. All right. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at your doorstep in 30 minutes or less, or you'll receive a free small pizza with your next order. Great, thanks. Okay. Here we go again, all right? Hello, can I take your order? Yes, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and green peppers. Would you like anything else? Well, wait, uh, can I make that a half and half pizza? Sure, what would you like on each half? Uh, what toppings do you have? Well, we have Italian sausage, ham, mushrooms, onions, pineapple, black olives, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, clams, and squid. Shrimp, clams, and squid? What kind of pizza is that? Uh, the manager spent some time overseas oh. and thinks his new seafood pizza will be a hit with the customers. But to be honest, the swimmer special, as he <laughs> calls it, is an acquired taste. Uh, I'll pass on that sink or swim special, but I'll have pepperoni and mushrooms on one half and green peppers and Italian sausage on the other. Oh, and can I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right. Would you care for any breadsticks or a beverage with your order? Well, I don't know. Actually, uh, we have a Friday night special going on right now. Oh. And if you order any large pizza and drink, we'll throw in a free order of breadsticks, plus a $3 coupon for use with your next order. Huh. Uh, sure, why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or orange juice. I'll take orange juice. Okay. Your total comes to fifteen nineteen, which includes tax. Okay. And could I have your name? Uh, yeah. J. Han. Uh, did you say J. Hand? No. 
It's Han. Actually, it's a Korean name, but many people have difficulty making it out. Hey, maybe I should change my name to Han. Ah,、uh, names are important. Don't change it. Okay. Oh, and your address and telephone number. It's thirteen forty South, sixteen East, and the phone number is three four zero eighteen seventy. Okay. Let me repeat your order: a large half and half pizza. Okay. One half with pepperoni and mushrooms. Yeah. The other with Italian sausage and green peppers. Yeah. Orange juice and your free order of breadsticks. J Han, not Han. Yeah, that's right. At three forty South, sixteen East, three four zero eighteen seventeen. Is that correct? Everything except for the phone number. It's eighteen seventy, not seventeen. All right. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at your doorstep in thirty minutes or less, or you'll receive a free small pizza with your next order. Great. Thanks. Okay. Perfect. So, do you want me to play it once again? Yes. 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 Please. Yes, please. Okay. Here we go.、Yeah. Hello, can I take your order? Yes, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and green peppers. Would you like anything else? Well, wait.、Uh, can I make that a half and half pizza? Sure. What would you like on each half?、Uh, what toppings do you have? Well, we have Italian sausage, ham, mushrooms, onions, pineapple, black olives, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, clams, and squid. Shrimp, clams, and squid. What kind of pizza is that?、Uh, the manager spent some time overseas、oh. and thinks his new seafood pizza will be a hit with the customers. But to be honest, the swimmer special, as he <laughs> calls it, is an acquired taste.、Uh, I'll pass on that sink or swim special, but I'll have pepperoni and mushrooms on one half, and green peppers and Italian sausage on the other. Oh, and can I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right. Would you care for any breadsticks or a beverage with your order? Well, I don't know. Actually,、uh, we have a Friday night special going on right now. Oh. And if you order any large pizza and drink, we'll throw in a free order of breadsticks plus a three-dollar coupon for use with your next order. Huh?、Uh, sure. Why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or orange juice. I'll take orange juice. Okay. Your total comes to fifteen nineteen, which includes tax. Okay. And can I have your name? Uh, yeah, J Han. Uh, did you say J Han? No, it's Han. Actually, it's a Korean name, but many people have difficulty making it out. Hey, maybe I should change my name to Han. Ah,、uh, names are important. Don't change it. Okay. Oh, and your address and telephone number. It's thirteen forty South, sixteen East, and the phone number is three four zero eighteen seventy. Okay. Let me repeat your order: a large half and half pizza. Okay. One half with pepperoni and mushrooms. Yeah. The other with Italian sausage and green peppers. Yeah. Orange juice and your free order of breadsticks. J Han. Not Han. Yeah, that's right. At three forty South, sixteen East, three four zero eighteen seventeen. Is that correct? Everything except for the phone number. It's eighteen seventy, not seventeen. All right. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at your doorstep in thirty minutes or less, or you'll receive a free small pizza with your next order. Great. Thanks. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Submit your answers. Okay. Let me let me check this course. Okay. Okay. Go. Anna, Blanca, Carlos, Glenda, Jose, Karen, Nelson. Okay. Rafael, Rose, Susana, Jency. Okay. Edwin. Okay. And... Okay, guys. Was it difficult? Very difficult. A little. A little bit, right?、Mm -hmm. Yes.、Um, well, maybe because of that, yeah, it was difficult. Maybe because of the speed, right? And probably、um, some words, but because of the speed. But okay. So well, don't worry. We are going to be improving, right? So don't worry. That's why we are taking those practices so you can improve. All right. So then let's move. We are going to practice speaking for about ten、uh, minutes. Okay, we are almost done with today's class. We are just going to practice、um, those questions. Actually, we have six questions. Okay. The first one is how important is money in your life?、Okay. Very important, teacher. Okay, 
Do you think about it a lot? Why? Okay, why is money important in your life? Oh, well, because of many things, right? Are you more of a saver or a spender? What is a saver? The person that likes to save, right? Um, and a spender is the one that wastes money, right? That is spend money everywhere. Mm -hmm. So then would you prefer to be rich or beautiful or handsome? What would you prefer? Uh -huh, and why, right? Then what is your main purpose for learning English? When did you start learning English? And what aspects of English is most difficult to master? Okay. So we are going to practice for around eight to seven minutes, and then we are going to come back. Okay. So let's go and practice a little bit. Can you see it? Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, the question number one. How how important is money in your life? Do you think about it a lot? Yes, in my case, the money is very important. Um, and now, and mostly, okay, you can you think about it because you have to, to make plans at the moment. For me, too, it's very important because um, it's useful when I try to to purchase uh, a lot of things uh, to plan it, to travel around the world or to plan uh, a celebrity celebrity with the family or my celebrate celebrate thank you celebrate with my family or my friends mm -hmm. and others. But uh, I don't think a lot in that. Okay. So yes, uh, just vocabulary, gastos, expenses, right? So money is important because we all have expenses. Yes. Right, very good, excellent. Lastimosamente. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sadly, right? Sadly. sadly. Yes, sadly. Thank you. Okay, continue, guys. Okay. And you, Rosa? Yes. And the third, third for emer emergence? Emergence? Emergence. Uh -huh. emergence. Emergence. And yeah. also to get a security. Yeah. This is my thoughts and pay a security when you had an emergency, because the E is for gusto. And the third, would you prefer to be rich or beautiful? Rich. <laughs> <laughs> or handsome? I prefer to be rich. Yeah. yeah I yes. don't want to work uh, when I Okay, the three question is, uh, would you prefer to be rich or beautiful? I prefer to be rich because if I'm rich, I'm going to be beautiful. I'm going to change <laughs> my body. I'm going to have money. I'm going to have cars. So I think that I better prefer to be rich. What about you? In this case, 
I prefer to be rich because uh, yeah, the money is necessary. But the rich or beautiful. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer to be rich or handsome? Or Which handsome one would you prefer? prefer? I prefer race and beautiful. <laughs> okay, so you prefer to be, well, in this case, handsome, okay? Handsome. 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 The two of them? Yeah. Okay. Handsome. But if you, if you have to choose one, rich or handsome, which one? Rich, you are going to have a lot of money. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I, I, I would prefer to be rich. And what about you, yeah. Carlos, Eduardo, and Arias? I prefer, I would, I would prefer to be rich because I can uh, buy a lot of things. For example, uh, a, a, com a new computer or a house or a car. And I can maybe visit uh, some country. You are going to be happy, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, of course, right. Okay. And you, Carlos Arias, rich or handsome? Well, I think that he is not there. Okay. I prefer to be rich. Rich as well? For the, Why? For the travel other country and um this fruit, the life and oh enjoy uh, man. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy the life. Okay, enjoy. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Continue with the next question. Okay. Okay. Uh, Carlos, what is your main Purpose for learning English. Okay, purpose. 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 Excellent. Yes. Uh, my purpose is uh, um, para uh, what do you say? Mejor trabajo una mejor oportunidad. Oh, to get better, yeah, to get a better job opportunity. To get better uh, job opportunity. Yeah. Okay. And you, husband? I bet your uh, letter opportunity and um, travel the other country um, mm. and you speak in English. Okay, yes, in my case, uh, well, this may be the answer because I would like to apply another work. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, very good. Um, Carlos, when do you start? The, the one option. That's right. And you, what is your main purpose for so, learning English? For me, in my case, uh, I need it. I learn English because I work as customer service and I have to speak or write email with the client and the client is in USA and they don't speak Spanish and I have to write and speak every day with them in English. So for the, the so to begin uh, was difficult for me because I I don't understand. I didn't understand, but uh, now I can understand more and can help with everything in the work. At the work. Oh, sorry, at work. Yes. Perfect. So, when did you start learning English? Ah, uh, you saw him. In July last year. Yeah, you too. Yeah, and you? Uh, I can 
we start at the same time in the same group. I remember you. Okay. Okay. What well, aspect of English is more difficult to master? Think it's more difficult for me, and it's a learning vocabulary. I I don't have time a day, and I have to keep learning for minutes or. Free time in my account to learn more vocabulary. Okay, guys, so we're almost done with our class. Before we go, okay, let's wait for the other ones to join. Okay, we're almost here. Um, all right, guys, before we go, do you have any doubt? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear? No? Remember to complete your homework, okay, on the platform. Please do not forget, all right? So let me see, um, we are still missing some of you. We are still missing some of you. Yeah. Okay. Let me see, do we have, let me go ahead and, and, and see. Do we have Carlos Francisco Arias? Carlos Francisco Arias? No. Okay. Eh, Cesar Romero, no. Edwin Antonio? Yes. Edwin, yes. Okay. So, guys, um, Edwin, please stay with me. Then the other ones, well, I, no, yeah, I can see Carlos Francisco Arias. Carlos Arias? Carlos Arias? Hi, teacher. Okay. Please, please stay with me, okay? Then the okay. other ones, guys. Go ahead and rest. I hope you have a great weekend. Please take care and I'll see you back on Monday. All right? Okay. You too. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Nice weekend. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Okay. Thank you. You as well. Thank you. Thank you, Susana. Okay. Carlos Arias, then we are going to have the feedback. Okay. So we are going to have the feedback. This is going to be kind of short. All right, so I will go ahead and just ask you some questions because I would like to know about you, okay? I don't know if you feel more, more comfortable um, with the feedback in English or in Spanish. In Spanish, uh, English for the moment is uh, very difficult uh, listening. Okay, don't worry, okay? So just because we are going to be on the feedback, okay? Vamos a hacerlo en inglés y español, okay? Algunas cositas en inglés y otras en español, yes? So... Um, cuénteme acerca de usted, Carlos Arias. Okay. Quiero saber cuánto tiempo tiene estudiando el okay. idioma, qué le apreció las clases. Eh, bastante buenas por el momento y si no mal recuerdo, creo que desde agosto del año pasado. Uh -huh. Ok, bien. ¿Qué es lo que más se le dificulta a usted en el idioma inglés? Por el momento es el escuchar, el listening, es el que ya, ya que por el momento no conozco todas las palabras o por lo menos mi vocabulario no es tan amplio, entonces eso es lo que más me complica. Ok, all right. And, um, ¿Cuál es el propósito eh, para aprender el idioma? ¿Cuál es su propósito? Eh, son dos, una en la, la mejora o la la búsqueda de una oportunidad mejor en un sal de trabajo o salario, más bien dicho. Y la otra es para poder viajar a, a otros países en el cual la mayoría de países se, se entiende el inglés, ya que es 
el más popular. Entonces, para que no me dificulte, si no me entienden en español, me entenderán en inglés. Ok, muy bien, Carlos. Bien, eh, ok, hasta el momento, eh, ¿tiene alguna observación en la clase? ¿Algo que le gustaría que incluyéramos? ¿Algo que eh, me diga, teacher, yo siento de que esto, ¿verdad? Quiero que incluya. ¿O tiene algún, um, alguna pregunta acerca de algún tema? El cual se le haya complicado a usted, ¿verdad? Y que me diga, no le comprendí este tema. Eh, por el momento, lo que más me está faltando sería la lectura para mí. Eh, así he estado acostumbrado a que nos ponían a leer y eso es lo que me está haciendo un poco como de falta. Ya que... Eh, no, y compartimos todos y participamos de la plataforma no me equivoco y es lo que lo único que a mí me hace falta okay. creo, creo que lo perdí por un ratito creo que el internet como que se lo, lo último no le, no les pude escuchar Carlos la, lo único que me hace falta a mí es la lectura eh, ok Bien, eh, bueno, en nuestras clases, si ya se fijó, eh, más que todo se trata de hacer participativo para que ustedes puedan como eh, leer, ¿verdad? Y opinar de todo lo que estamos viendo. Entonces, en este caso, yo he notado eh, que usted participa, ¿verdad? Usted siempre pues está dispuesto a leer, a participar cuando pido voluntarios y eso está muy bueno que lo, eh, que lo haga y yo lo invito a que lo siga haciendo porque eso le va a ayudar bastante a usted para pulir las habilidades que tal vez en este momento pues le resultan un poco complicadas. Sin embargo, eh, creo que hasta el momento pues yo lo he visto bien participativo, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, siga así. Estudie también, eh, si puede, pues vocabulario, ¿verdad? Verbos, para que cuando ya estemos en la clase, eh, no se le dificulte. De igual manera, Carlos, si en la clase usted tiene preguntas, hágalas, ¿verdad? Y eh, si se puede apoyar de un diccionario en línea, también apóyese de un diccionario en línea. Eh, porque en ese momento estamos construyendo el vocabulario, estamos construyendo todas las eh, eh, estructuras gramaticales aún. Entonces, porque vienen de un básico, ¿verdad? A un intermedio y sabemos de que eh, básicamente pues tenemos que mejorar en todo eh, vocabulario, listening, speaking, writing, todo, ¿verdad? Entonces es muy entendible que en ese momento pues encontremos un poco difícil esta parte. Sin embargo, a medida que usted vaya avanzando en todos los, los módulos, se va a dar cuenta de que eh, va a ir aprendiendo un montón de vocabulario, va a ir aprendiendo diferentes... Eh, palabras, ¿verdad? Diferentes estructuras. Entonces, eh, lo principal es que en este momento usted, cuando no estemos en clases, también usted eh, haga, eh, tome esta como iniciativa de poder estudiar el idioma en línea, o sea, en, en YouTube, pon un video, un video motivacional y estés escuchando lo que están diciendo en inglés. Y pone los subtítulos en inglés para que usted vaya escuchando y leyendo, escuchando y leyendo. Entonces eso le va a ayudar bastante con su listening. Eh, videos que le gusten a usted. Puede ser de motivación, porque en inglés hay muchos videos muy buenos de motivación y aparte pues lo motiva también a usted. Y tienen bastante vocabulario muy, pero muy útil. Entonces le puedo recomendar que haga eso, que también ponga su celular en inglés, ¿verdad? Que lo ponga en inglés, su Facebook, si tiene Facebook, todas sus redes sociales, todo, todo, todo debe de estar en inglés para que abarque un poquito más de vocabulario, ¿sí? Bueno, por lo otro, eh, no se preocupe que eh, a medida vayamos avanzando y vayamos haciendo ejercicios, usted va a notar que va a ir mejorando poco a poco. Claro está que no es de la noche a la mañana, ¿verdad? Pero... Usted tiene que tener paciencia con usted mismo para que pueda eh, ver los pequeños pasitos que va dando, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es muy importante y pues, eh, bien, eso más que todo. Ahora, cuénteme, ¿qué hace en su tiempo libre? Casi no tengo tiempo libre. Eh, después de salir del trabajo, muchas veces me quedo ayudándole a mi papá. Eh, okay. Por X o Y razón... Eh, me quedo hasta tarde. Ya solo vengo, ceno y luego de cenar vengo a la clase. Y, y la clase, ¿verdad? Okay, ok. Sí. 
Eh, ok, sí, es bien importante pues que, eh, bueno, en ese caso que cuando no tenemos tiempo libre, tenemos que hacerlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, para que usted vaya metiendo un poquito para lo de inglés, para que usted vea que va a ir avanzando, pero siempre, yo le, le, le recomiendo que cuando usted se vaya a dormir, siempre, pero siempre, busque un video de tres minutos, de dos minutos y escúchelo, porque le va a servir bastante. Eh, luego, pues, eh, por lo demás, no sé si tiene eh, alguna duda, pregunta, la plataforma, la pudo activar o tuvo alguna dificultad con la plataforma. Con la plataforma de inglés corporativo no he tenido problema. Con la que he tenido problemas, con la que usted nos envió a Excel. Eh, no las he hecho. Eh, Prácticamente es porque en algunos casos no podía escuchar y es por la calidad de teléfono que tengo. Ok, vale. En referencia a lo que me está comentando, supongo yo que es este link, ¿verdad? El, el, sí. el link que les he compartido de las clases, este, ¿verdad? Sí, así es. Vale. Eh, en este caso, eh, fíjese de que este link es más que todo para que... Eh, para que ustedes vayan teniendo como las clases. Aquí, miren, solamente tiene las clases. Estas son las prácticas que hacemos en la clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, en las clases, ¿tiene problema para, para escuchar los audios? Eh, hasta hoy logré escuchar eh, parte del, del audio de hoy. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Bien. En días anteriores no pude. Ok. Y los, pero si los tomó, ¿verdad? Lo respondió. No. No. Ok. Bye. Eh, ¿Y el de ahora lo respondió? Sí, pero creo que saqué como tres o cuatro malas. Uh -huh. Por lo pero mismo, es que no, no escuché completo. Bien. Vale, lo que podemos hacer en este caso, eh, Carlos, es que le puedo compartir, bueno, usted lo vuelve a tomar cuando pueda y le puedo compartir los links de los audios para que usted los escuche. Cuantas veces usted pues eh, necesite escucharlo por, por lo que me comenta. Pero sí tómelos para que vaya practicando usted pues, en su tiempo libre, ¿verdad? Si tiene el fin de semana, una hora, dedíquese a, a eso. Entonces, lo que voy a hacer es que quizás le voy a mandar a su número de teléfono los links, ¿sí? Entonces, ahí los tiene usted y cuando ya usted puede escucharlo, lo hace y, y pues toma los exámenes, ¿sí? Me parece perfecto. Vale. Entonces, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta, alguna otra duda. Por el momento, creo que no. Vale, Carlos. Solamente eh, dígame cuáles son los últimos dígitos de su número. Los cuatro últimos dígitos. Para yo buscarlo en el grupo. 6781. Vale. 6781. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, Carlos, yo lo voy a buscar en, los, eh, en el grupo y yo le voy a mandar los links para que los pueda tomar. Ok. Ok, muchas gracias. Ok, un gusto. Cuídese mucho. I'll see you back on Monday. Ok. Okay, thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Have a good weekend. You as well. Thank Take you. Take care. Thank you. You as well. Okay.